Hey, welcome back to another video where we are now three weeks post operation. And uh, just wanted to give you a bit of an update really on something which I've noticed over the last few days, which I didn't really notice at the start. Um, I don't know if anyone else has had this as problem or not necessarily a problem, but I've noticed something uh, around uh, under the glands, under the skin, there feels like um, some lumps, some rather hard lumps, which, um, which I sort of put down to maybe the swelling and probably didn't notice it because of the swelling uh, underneath the incision scar line. Uh, but more sort of feel around the area. I've got, I've noticed two or three lumps under the skin, which um, at first I, it made me a little bit concerned. So I contacted my doctor uh, this morning to try and get some update on this, really to find out what it is. Uh, and I was advised not to be concerned at all. And actually what it is or most likely going to be is um, stitches under the skin. Um, they advise that the stitches under the skin take longer to dissolve because they're under the skin, so uh, not to be concerned, but to take uh, regular baths for 20 minutes or so just to kind um, lo loosen up and help the dissolving within, the, within under the skin side of things. Uh, but yeah, so that's felt, made me feel a little bit more comfortable. I was a little bit concerned uh, over the weekend and um, was a little bit worrying about maybe that was something wrong, maybe it was a clot, maybe it was a a, um, infection of some sort but I've been assured at this stage that no that's not the case it is part of the healing process it is literally like or likely to be stitches under the skin which take a little bit longer to heal which is fine uh, in in terms of other updates yeah I think, think the, the other side of things are, are going well the healing is going well um, the sensitivity is still there it's still quite intense um, more so when I'm not wearing boxes or briefs or and I'm uh, you know if I was to wear say jogging bottoms without boxes underneath the sensation of the, uh, the jogging the cloth touching the glands or around the swelling area is quite uncomfortable still uh, but I've been assured that this takes this take months anyway so I'm fully expecting this to um, not be a short term um, it'll just fade away in the short term it's just going to take time which I uh, fully appreciate uh, however, when I'm wearing boxer shorts or tight briefs and walking around, there is no no problems. It's slightly uncomfortable, just slightly, but not intense, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, I did manage to go out on a 10k walk the other day, up and down hills, and that that felt good. Didn't feel any problems. Um, the only thing it does feel after some after a while, there is you know it is rubbing, and there is some swelling there still. So it still is rubbing against the the cloth itself. So it does come uncomfortable slightly after after a long time. Um, the only way I can describe it really in terms of sensitivity um, situation, it feels like I need to go toilet. That's that's really it to be honest with you. Um, there's nothing, uh, no pain there anymore. And there's certainly no um, sharp pains what I was having in the first week or so. So that's good news. So I'm assuming that's, that's on the way now and that, that's good. Um, so three weeks in now, uh, three weeks, uh, say six weeks to be, uh, more healed um, so halfway which is great news so three weeks flew by um, it seems like um, it was only yesterday that I had the operation and I came out thinking wow what have I done um, even though I knew it was done for medical reasons you do have that second doubt in your mind going oh dear this doesn't feel good is it going to heal have I made a big mistake however you know We'll see how things go. Um, as to whether or not this is something, as I mentioned earlier, earlier in videos, was this if this would have been something I would have done otherwise if it wasn't for a medical condition? No, I, I don't think I would have done. I'm, there is no, re there was no reason to do it. Um, it's only because of the medical condition I had that I went down this route. Uh, so I just want to make that clear um, that I fully exp understand that people have different interpretations and different outcomes and different reasons why they do these things. Um, it, it, it's, it's a personal personal opinion but as an adult getting this done I would not my personal opinion as an adult I would not have done this myself um, but it, it was for a medical condition um, but yeah so that, that's just a quick update really there's not a lot of change at this stage um, swelling is still there going down as I mentioned there was these um, site lumps which I've now got clarified that they should go down over the next week to two weeks and then that will then be Starts looking a bit more normal, if I'm honest with you, rather than some big swelled up um, bit of skin, really. 
Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, if you've got any comments or any questions you'd like me to answer, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if there's any questions you would like a video on or you're going through this process, please do uh, put those in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer that as well. So thanks for watching and look forward to doing another update in the next couple of days. Thank you.